Mission is supported by the Star Ghana Foundation with thanks to Danida, UK Aid and the EU. Poor roads in Upper Manya is pushing many women in the district to give birth at home. For residents and healthcare workers, political actors must center their energies on improving the road network to ensure improved access to health facilities. A report by Bright Nanamfu. I will take care of about five pregnant women ANC. But it will be only one person that will come, the rest will deliver at home. It's because of the distance and then the road network is very bad, especially during the rainy season. It's not good at all. The pain of healthcare workers, their work is to save them, but they are unable to do it. Upper Mania district uh, has adequate road network and I will explain. The network, meaning that from one community to another, how do we connect? We have a number of them existing, but they are in very, very bad uh, uh, conditions. Roads leading to health facilities are in poor state. Hundreds of kilometers of roads are untarred, bumpy and rocky. It is a setback to development. The Asesawa market used to be one of the biggest in the eastern region. It is no more. We are surrounded by markets. We are surrounded by farms. The people do their farm. The produce come. They cannot send the produce to the market. What is the use? The poor road network has retarded development. Health facilities, schools and work at some social infrastructure has been retarded due to the poor road network. In fact, it is not the Asisawa market alone that has been affected. Some other vibrant economic centers have gone down because of poor roads. We have a market, a small market at Akrusu. Formerly, it was quite big. Because of the road, the market is virtually gone. Akrusu, I'm told, is directly facing Germany. So people from overbank in a farm plains and Volta previously were coming to that market. That market come up with a lot of yam, a lot of sweet potato, a lot of fish. For drivers who ply the Upper Manya Road Network, it is a headache. Visits to mechanics are daily. Investments are being whittled away. For these drivers, political parties must ensure they make roads priority in their manifestos. The areas that are so bad, if the assembly will not be able to do all, they should go to the west areas just to help them move over there. Then also, with this current state of the roads, uh, it's difficult going to the villages, more especially when it rains. For some, even if the assembly is unable to fully reconstruct roads, some reshaping should be done. Where they think the bitumen surfaces can be okay, they should do it. If they can't do that, they should just regravel it for them so that they can work on it smoothly. Hundreds of kilometers of poor roads are impacting negatively both on health and education. The Upper Manya Krobo Assembly is strategizing at fixing roads. Strategy number one was to engage communities in addressing basic road problems that they could address through communal labor. And so myself, the MP, we joined communities. Our second strategy was for the MP and the district assembly, common fund, IGF, all sources of fund that we get, what can we do with it? And these are the, the issues that uh, the community cannot help. I asked the engineers to calculate for me, looking at what we've done in terms of reshaping, right. how much we have done. They told me it's estimated at about 182 kilometers. The first component includes opening town roads. Some culverts are being fixed to improve movement in the capital, Asisawa. The third phase has to do with roads that we do not have the capacity 
and most of them bituminous surfacing. We propose to His Excellency the President if we could get Akataria through Sekesua to Tenwanya. Tenwanya happens to be the last boundary town for Fantiaqua North and Apamanya. In fact, luckily for us, the President himself during the campaign in 2016 visited Sekeswa. Mm. We made the same appeal to him and he assured us that that 21.2 or so kilometer road would be done. Fixing these roads is expected to enhance economic activity. It is also expected to open up the district, particularly for the assembly, since huge revenues are generated from IGF, which comes from markets. I want to see more feeder roads being reshaped and graveled so that farmers and food staff can come to Asisawa, go to Akate, go to Akrusu, and go to the market centers. We have one market at Sekesha, which is also a busy town. If we are able to do this, feeder roads, reshape them, and regravel them, I tell you, Asura will rise up. The district can, however, boast of some well-paved roads. These ones linking Sisiama to the rest of the district and beyond. These good roads have been the factor pushing up economic activity to the area. The hope is to see more of these good roads. And so, as political parties lay their boat to begin campaigning, residents want to see more work on roads in the district. And that's it for Mission. Mission is supported by the Star Ghana Foundation with thanks to Danida, UK Aid and the EU.